Meet Peanut. He's a cow with a canine complex. There's nothing more this cow loves doing than going down to the beach. Automatically he knows and he just starts mooing, going off and whatnot. Um, and there have been some times where I'll be walking the dogs and Peanut and I'll be like, come on, Peanut, come on, because he'll stop, he'll start to eat some grass and sniff something. I'm like, Peanut, come on, and then he'll just like, mmm, and just run straight over at full speed, kicking his legs in the air, and yeah, no, he absolutely loves it. Ed Foy rescued Peanut off the side of the road when he found the calf alone next to his dead mother. As far as he's concerned, I don't think he can ever remember another cow in his life, so at this current stage, yeah, he just thinks he's an oversized canine. Because he's become too big to sleep upstairs, Peanut sleeps downstairs and he's reunited with his canine brothers in the morning. Uh, as soon as Peanut hears the noise of the dog footprints on the staircase, he automatically starts going off, uh, which is a demand for nine litres of milk in the morning. Um, then I normally take him for a nice little wander around the property, somewhere down the street maybe. Um, and depending on how hot that day is and if the lagoon's full, I can normally wander down there, take him for a dip. People are amazed when they see him and whatnot. He's just like a yeah, giant puppy pretty much. Um, at this current stage, he's still very curious about everything. So walk around and he'll take 20 minutes to sniff a tree and suss it out and whatnot. But yeah, otherwise, he's just like having a giant pet dog. Everyone's facial expressions. It's priceless watching some people's facial expressions. They turn around, they turn their head again. They're like, oh crap, that's a cow. I had to look twice, to be honest. Came down for a float and to see the tide come in and look at the view. And then suddenly some dogs and a big cow turn up. So I wasn't expecting to see that today. And amazing. And he's acting like a dog with the other dogs bit of a spin out, never thought I'd see that. All the kids run up, everyone wants to wander over and pat him. He's real curious about getting in the water because if the dogs won't get in the water, he won't get in the water as well. But at the same time, he just loves, yeah, going down, being part of the attention and going for a swim in the water, which really helps because right now there's a lot of mosquitoes about. But most days he just lounges around in the shade here, relaxing, playing with the dogs. And he was playing with one of the dog tug of war ropes the other day for about 20 minutes. He was just swinging it in constant circle, dropping it, picking it up, swinging it. So he does fetch the tennis ball with the dogs, but the dogs are a bit territorial over the ball. So he will hesitate uh, when it comes to grabbing it. Um, but yeah, no, he does play with a few of the toys as well as one of the pelving floats we've got hanging around. He will go up, he will nudge that, he will grab the rope, pull it, let it go and watch it swing around and that. So Ed, do you still eat beef? Aye, hoo, hoo. Shane, let me just block his ears. <laughs> um, no, we haven't stopped with the barbecues. Like, just because I saved a cow doesn't mean I'm going to turn into a vegan. I'll still happily eat meat. It's part of my lifestyle, part of my culture. Would you ever sell peanut? No. Nah. Never. Never. He's, once he's part of the family, he's part of the family for life. He's not going nowhere even for a million dollars. Hey, buddy. Hey? You're a million dollar steak, aren't you? Thank <laughs> you.